I'm gonna come right out and say it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything for you fucking guys. If you were the ones who supported the advanced supply drop movement within advanced warfare, if you were one of the fucking degenerates who uploaded advanced supply drop openings on advanced warfare, you are the very reason why Black Ops 3 is in fucking shambles. You are the reason why there is so much controversy surrounding Black Ops 3, a game in which we all expected Activision and Treyarch to bring back to glory, at least some of its glory, to the point where we can all say as a community, you know what, I enjoy this game even though it has its faults, and I don't give a shit what anybody says. You come home after a long day, you fucking pop open a beer, and you stream on Twitch, and you enjoy yourself with your buddies. It's all we wanted. Instead, everything about the game, everything that is good about the game, everything that is really bad about the gameplay and the mechanics is overshadowed. It is overshadowed by this one little pesky fucking fly named Supply Drops. Give me a break. Give me a break. You are the fucking reason why Call of Duty right now is headed down a path in which there is no escape. You're the cause. You spent your money. Just think about this realistically. You spent money on advanced supply drops for a BAL Obsidian Steed and an ASM-1 Speakeasy. How much money did you spend to acquire those weapons? And when you did, you looked at your fucking PayPal account and you realized, I'm a fucking asshole. I'm a fucking retard. Look at how much money I put into one of the worst fucking Call of Duties of all time. Your actions with that game, which probably Nobody on fucking planet Earth enjoys anymore. If you do, I feel sorry for your soul. Why would you even go back to that fucking cancerous environment? Why? It's because of you and the money you pumped into that game to get two fucking weapons. Now, look at us and look at where we are. Activision is fucking laughing to the bank. Oh, ha 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 Like the million dollar man. Maybe if I find a sound clip and a million dollar man laugh and I'll put it in the fucking commentary post-editing. <laughs> you guys are fucking assholes. You pumped your money into a game that you no longer play and now Activision sees this and sees the statistics. Maybe they'll buy supply drops if we put weapons and slowly incorporate more weapons into Black Ops 3. They already enjoy the game. Let's see how they eat it up. Let's see how much of their parents' money they can spend. Let's see how much of that YouTube cash they can spend. Give me a break. Every one of you who uploaded a fucking advanced supply drop is the reason why Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty for the foreseeable future is a fucking train wreck. Give me a fucking break. I mean, everywhere you look, every fucking video I see in my sub box is about a supply drop. It's not about the fucking gameplay. It's not about a live commentary. Good, solid live commentary. I mean, I feel like I'm doing this shit all wrong in 2016. Nobody wants to see some fucking idiot yelling at the real problems of Call of Duty. It's all about the supply drop. People want to see a supply drop opening. How to get the weapons easy in supply drops within Black Ops 3. How to get the weapons for free without spending con points in Black Ops 3. Give me a fucking break. And this new thing, people are doing supply drop opening videos and every fucking thumbnail I see a huge red arrow pointing to something in the thumbnail that I can't see so some fucking childish goon is gonna click on the video oh I can't see what it is I have to watch 10 minutes of nothing to see what this guy's pointing at in the fucking thumbnail with this huge red arrow give me a fucking break seriously is this what YouTube has become in 2016 I feel like I'm doing it all wrong seriously White Boy 7th Street with his fucking scam black market blackout. Give me a fucking break. Does anybody truly believe it? I wanted to make this commentary back when it was a hot topic. 
I'm fucking two weeks too late. Give me a break. Some fucking scam artist he is. He doesn't give a shit about the game. He's got a fucking dead channel. Who the fuck's gonna listen to this guy's opinion? Two million subs? Fucking 40,000, 50,000 views a video? No wonder Drama Alert says he's a fucking... He's a loser. Seriously. Keemstar's calling you a loser. It's probably true. Because look at his channel and the, and the way it's growing and the subs that he gets and the views that he gets per fucking hour. Obviously. What a scam artist, man. Calling out Prestige is key and all these other big YouTubers for fucking sucking the Activision cock. Yeah, we all know they do. You don't need to reiterate that for fucking publicity. And on top of that, it's not even the worst part about it. You made a scam campaign for fucking black market blackout. Who's going to listen to you? You know? Just like I said in the beginning of this video, if you were a part of the advanced supply drop movement and spent money on advanced warfare, what did you think Activision was going to do? It, there's no turning back here. There's no turning back. People are addicted to gambling. Gambling is a fucking addiction. You're not going to stop people from gambling, no matter how much money they lose. I lived in Atlantic City for seven years. I seen what was going on. I worked in the casinos. The same people every fucking week taking buses up there three, four, five hours to sit in the casino for five hours out of a day and then go right back home round trip. It's a fucking disease. You're not going to stop these people from spending money. Especially with a fucking scam campaign from White Boy 7th Street. He didn't do it because he loves the fucking game. He doesn't love Call of Duty anymore. He did it because his channel is dead. He did it because he needs fucking publicity to his channel. He needs word of mouth to go back to his channel. He needs some type of fire started to get people watching his channel again. Because no other way around it, he wasn't going to get traffic to his channel unless he called out somebody. Unless he started a fucking scam campaign, which I'm sure he thought of in the shower while jerking off. You know? Give me a break. You people fall for this shit. You're fucking pathetic. I have no other words for you. No other words for you. Everywhere you look is a supply drop. Everywhere you, everywhere you fucking you look and people are talking about Black Ops 3, it's about a supply drop. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. More than likely, you listening to me are part of the fucking problem. You are part of the fucking problem. I know my loyal guys. I know who you are. And I know that you don't really support the movement. But more than likely, if you played Advanced Warfare and you're a YouTuber and you spent money on that fucking abysmal piece of shit, you are the fucking problem. Seriously. Go look at your channel. If you are a big YouTube channel and you, and you uploaded advanced supply drops and you fucking put money into advanced warfare which was one of the worst games on the fucking planet never mind call of duty you are the fucking cancer you are the problem you are the reason why call of duty is headed down a fucking mountain fast and there's no saving you everywhere you look is about the supply drop when are people gonna be talking about the gameplay again when are we gonna get good old-fashioned live commentaries where we just sit down and enjoy the game you know nobody even watches people on twitch anymore it's all about, oh, let's see if this guy is going to open some supply drops. Everything is about supply drops. Why? I, I don't get you people. This is why Black Ops 3, in my honest opinion, as far as what I, I see on my channel, I don't know what to do with it. I mean, it's a, it's a new day and age on YouTube, man. Uh, back in Black Ops 2, my live commentaries were slaying, and I was a small channel. So I don't know what I'm doing differently now that I'm fucking ten times as bigger Meanwhile, back in the day, I was smaller and getting better views on my live commentary. It's not about the live commentary anymore, man. The live commentary's dead. The fucking regular commentary, the good old COD commentator, like Thunder, dead. Nobody wants to see this shit anymore, man. You're not talking about speculation. You're not talking about leaks, news, Reddit. Give me a fucking break. And more importantly, if you're not scamming fucking people with fake hashtags and scam hashtags and giveaways and now fucking SEO thumbnails. I don't know what to do anymore, bro. I really don't know what to do anymore. I I'm like a fucking lost puppy out here. It's all about the supply drop. And that's a fucking damn shame, bro. Fuck this black market blackout. You guys got a fucking brain for yourselves. You got a head on your shoulders. Don't listen to fucking white boy 7th Street. And more importantly, the whole fucking premise of this video, if you were the one who pumped money into advanced warfare, you are the fucking problem for Call of Duty. 
Not only Black Ops 3, but for future games. This will be in every fucking game until the game is officially dead. And at this point, I'm pretty sure more people now are wishing for demise of Call of Duty than ever before. Because it's not the same fucking game that we grew up loving, man. It's all about a business now. And the people on YouTube and YouTube itself fucking took over Call of Duty and ultimately will be the final nail on the fucking coffin. That's my commentary. That's all I got. I just needed a quick rant. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. What are we going to talk about next? I don't know. But get ready for Life After Prestige Master. That's coming up sometime this week if I have enough time. I'm JD. Thank you guys for listening and watching. If you enjoyed, hit that fucking thumbs up. Good old-fashioned true fucking commentary, bro. Honestly. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm about. And hopefully you guys agree with me and support and like the video. I'm out. I'll see you guys right back here very soon within Black Ops 3. I'll talk to you later.